This month, you can celebrate spring by learning about pollinators at the Swenson House. Here with us now is Martin Jensen. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you, you for having us. You do it all. You're at the Humane Society, but you're also a part of this event, too, at the Swenson House. So what are you guys doing in a couple weeks? It's going to be on uh, May the 11th from 1 to 4 in the afternoon. It's sponsored mainly by the Big Country Master Gardeners and the Swenson House Society also uh, in our gardens at uh, North 18th and Swenson, which is one block off of Grape to the west. Uh, we're going to be teaching children and adults, parents more or less, about pollinators, what they are, why we need them, and what plants they need to survive. Pollinators, if you know anything about them, are the things that produce pollen from one plant to another mm -hmm. to produce more seeds, feeds, plants, and that sort of thing. And uh, as we have heard about bees a lot of and bees a lot lately. of others are not uh, living nowadays and uh, there's a lot of problems with them. Mm -hmm. uh, too many pesticides and that sort of thing. But even in your small yard here in Abilene, you can do something about pollinators and attract them. And uh, we're going to do some uh, games. We're going to give away plants. And the Taylor Jones Humane Society also is going to have some dogs and cats there that can be adopted. So it's going to be an afternoon of fun in the yard at the Swenson House. And so obviously, you know, we have been hearing a lot about bees and just different kinds of things. There's even, I think, a beehive in Texas somewhere that was um, unfortunately set on fire on purpose, which is not right. a good thing. You know, people think that bees are pests, which they can be, they can sting you, but they are really uh, important to our, our whole nature. They're very important to our whole nature. Uh, bees pollinate such things as oranges, apples, peaches, pears, tomatoes, potatoes, uh, wheat, uh, grains, and feeds that uh, our cows eat to produce mm -hmm. milk and the chickens eat the seeds from particular plants that are pollinated by bees to produce eggs. So they are very important to us. Bees are normally not aggressive mm -hmm. until you swat them. Yeah. So leave them alone. Just leave them alone. Leave I them like, alone. I like that way of thinking. So who are you encouraging to come out in, the, in a couple weeks? Well, uh, it's going to be on May the 11th. We encourage some parents to come with their young children, elementary schools. If adults want to come also, we'll be giving away plants. And we'll be talking more what you can do in your own garden, or in your own yard more or less, to help the pollinators in our part of the country here in West Texas so that we have uh, more beautiful West Texas and also have more good fruits, vegetables, mm -hmm. and food for us to eat on. All right, well, we appreciate you coming on. Sounds like it's going to be a great event. So if you want to come out for it, just head over to the Swenson House on Saturday, May the 11th from 1 to 4. Admission is free, and you can get more information by calling 704-1053.